Road trips aren't about the destination. If you want to get somewhere far, you'll often just fly there. In our case, road trips are about accomplishing something. We've driven from Florida to Alaska, Key West to Nova Scotia, we've driven in Teslas and race cars, and now our most ambitious trip yet. We are going to take our two Mazda FD RX-7s and drive them to all 48 continental states in the US. Dude, we're so close to home, like the, these cars don't have to make it very far. Why would you say that? <laughs> Our cars are filthy. I still have coolant stains on mine from my breakdown in Montana. I think it's time we give them a wash. And we're coming after you. And we're coming after you. And we're coming after you. Perfect. Now my car is ready to get dirty again. We've got 18 states left to go, and I know the cars will get dirty again, but I just can't stand looking at them this way. Come on, Todd. When we're coming after you. And we're coming after you. Blonde Ben and I are leaving the hustle and bustle of Salt Lake City to head south into the glorious canyons of Utah. We're headed to the Four Corners Monument, the only place in the U.S. where four states intersect. Should be a good way to knock off a few more states off of the list. Or, well, maybe not. <sighs> well, crap. It's closed. Got a pretty good hit ratio till now, though. Yeah, we're, we're rolling through them now. This was gonna be really cool. This is the, the Four Corners Monument. It's, it's the only spot in the US that four corners uh, of four states connect. It's pretty cool. I wanted to see it. I wanted to stand in four states at once. Never done that before. Next time. Yeah. Oh well. We're still gonna hit them all though, because we just came from Utah. We just hit, what, Colorado. We're in New Mexico, and Arizona's right there. So, not, not a bad hit. Let's keep going. Even though the Four Corners Monument was closed, we still drove through all four of these states to get here, so it still counts. And now we're headed off to Arizona, and then we'll head east through New Mexico. There's only 15 states left, but we haven't changed our oil out since Wisconsin about 3,000 miles ago. And since we don't want any more potentially catastrophic issues, we've got to do some maintenance. We're in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And uh, yeah, this shouldn't take too long. Lovely parking lot back here. Asked the manager, he said that we could uh, change our oil back here. Yeah, Ben and I both agreed. We, we probably could drive the rest of the way home, honestly, without changing our oils, but it's probably smart to change it. So we will. 
both cars have been running really well since Montana, and we don't want to push our luck by waiting to change our oil. Taking a pause for maintenance is really important, especially when you're driving two FDs to 48 states. And with my oil change done, I hand the tools over to Goldilocks. I don't know why we're changing the oil to be honest, because it all just gets burned up and then I add new stuff, but it's best practice. So uh, using some conventional Valvoline, yep. just gonna drain out the old stuff, change the filter, uh, which is conveniently located on top, and then add some freshy. And then this will be gone in a couple of days, replaced by whatever I pour in. And then we have to bleed the coolant system again because the system is still leaking every morning when it starts to heat up. So just make sure we don't have another little disaster like we did last week. I still have a small leak at the radiator and I just want to keep as much air out of the coolant system as possible. So a quick bleed and we're good to go. Coolant, blood. Oil, changed. Road trip, ready to go. Crisis, averted. This moment holding out for something golden found a light on a hill i was waking up looking for peace in a world that's divided gotta hold on tight when you find it i was turning around i was waking up i can't believe we've crossed off 34 states as we drive into texas both cars have been running without an issue since montana other than the occasional coolant leak or wire coming loose we're starting to feel hopeful that we might actually be able to make it to all lower 48 states. Since we're back in the Midwest, naturally we saw some more uh, strange attractions. Well, this is weird. Yeah, what is this? This is the VW Slug Bug Ranch. Yeah, okay, uh, that doesn't explain anything to me. <laughs> I looked it up on Google, it looked cool. What is the purpose? It's just a bunch of old I, car chassis dude, that have been know. spray painted? Yeah, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> yeah, I probably wouldn't walk in there. <laughs> yeah, you don't wanna go in there. Yeah, yeah I didn't think so. <laughs> Maybe I'm just uncultured, but I don't understand this. I don't, I don't either. Still has the e-brake handle. Still has the chair, steering column. I mean, there's usable parts on this. Think anyone will ever do this with like Ford 500 or? <laughs> Think they'll do it with FDs? No, because these aren't really comparable to FDs. All right, they made what, a million of these? Like a million billion. Yeah. I think they're still made or something like right. that in certain parts of Mexico. It'd have to be something like a popular car, like Corollas or Civics or something. Yeah. Do you think anyone will ever have a spray painted Civic graveyard? Ben, I never thought anyone would ever do this. Yeah, but now it begs the question. <laughs> Look at this steering wheel. I want, I want this in my FD. I'm in me mum's car. Vroom vroom. Give me back me car. No. Dude, look at this. What the heck is that? Is that the key to the car? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like a geocaching thing. Huh. Yeah, it says geocaching like a, a log. Do you want to write our name in here? Gears and gasoline? So with geocaching, basically you, there's a website or apps or whatever, and you just hide things for other people that use those websites and then like leave clues or coordinates or whatever, and then people go and like find them. After literally leaving our mark on Texas, we begin the drive to Oklahoma. Hey Ben, how's your, how's your hair looking back there? It hasn't bronzed out or anything, has it? Yeah, I look like a, a human lighthouse. Thanks to you, Ben, appreciate it. The car broke down, both cars, you know, have had their issues. Now they're being pretty reliable. I feel like we've kind of like experienced the whole gamut of road tripping RX-7s. It, it's fun and now I'm ready to be home. Yeah, I feel you. Honestly, this this trip has kind of felt like a, like a rite of passage, almost like a break-in. Yeah, let that be a lesson. Anytime you get a new car, you have to take it to all 48 states uh, as a rite of passage. Remember that. Yeah, I mean, you want to work out the kinks and stuff, at least. I mean, what if you have a bad alternator? How are you going to find out unless you drive it all 48 states? 
Great. What if your radiator has a, a small leak? How are you going to find out unless you have to fix it on the side of the road in Montana? These are all good points. I think uh, I think we're teaching everybody a really great lesson here. Yeah, I think we might have revolutionized uh, what it means to be a car guy. On that breakthrough, we cross into Oklahoma. Not a state that I typically associate with tuner cars, but it turns out there's a vibrant community here. We got invited to stop by a shop in Oklahoma City to meet some new friends in some more RX-7s. We'll say goodbye to our new friends and continue eating up the miles as we head east. There's 13 states left, which means we've been to 35 states with these cars. We've been on the road for just over two weeks, and we're starting to get near the east coast. Just a few more Midwest states to hit first. Well, Ben, we didn't make the Four Corners Monument, but we got the Three Corners. Just as good? Yeah. Kansas, Missouri, and Oklahoma. Three very interesting states. Yeah, yeah. So technically, I don't know if I can stand on it, but here. Now I've been in all of the states. <laughs> oh, is that how it works? I think so. So now I'm in Oklahoma. Right. But if I go here, I'm in Kansas. All right, and I'm in Missouri over here. So if I stab you oh, here. Oh, no. Yeah, how does that work? <laughs> Can't touch I think me it's now, like a coffers. federal offense is like murder, nope. though. So. I'm pretty sure uh, stabbing is only illegal in Oklahoma. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we drive a loop around the tri-state marker to ensure that we've made it to all three states. Then we turn south to knock off the remaining 11 states. Makes your head spin. Pretty as a new star. Take it in. through the states now. There's seven left as we head into Alabama. How long have we been on the road for? Too long. How's, uh, how's your Civic running? There's just a lot of vibrations, man. I keep thinking about how to isolate the vibrations. I have the softest motor mounts I can get. Mazda makes some pretty soft ones. Yeah, but I like my engines to last more than 60,000 miles. You're not gonna put 60,000 miles on that <laughs> thing. What are you talking about? Hey, we're like, we're already, what, one-sixth of the way there? Who does this? <laughs> more miles I put on that car in the last three weeks than the previous owner did in six years. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to watch this and think, man, these cars break a lot. Or, you know, it seems like they break a lot. But in the grand scheme of things, we're driving six years equivalent, maybe one year equivalent for a Honda owner. So like, much. A lot of miles. Welcome to the Sunshine State of Florida. By now, Ben and I just want to be home. So we'll just turn around right here and head north to the remaining six states. Dude, we're so close to home. Like, the, these cars don't have to make it very far. Why would you say that? <laughs> Look, it's 1,500 miles. Worst case, I can get a tow strap and just pull you home. Look, I, I realize that rotaries don't have any torque thorn, but you are, you, you have a Honda. It's <laughs> also a car famous for not having torque. Let's, let's not get carried away here. Uh, West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina. I feel like we're really close. I, I feel like we're almost done. I can't believe that we're actually gonna do it. This is, this is wild.
Since we're so close to home now, the landscape and scenery have gotten a bit more familiar. We're used to seeing this topography living on the East Coast. And speaking of familiar, I've been driving the same car for the last 7,000 miles. So at the next stop, we decided to mix things up. Well, Ben, five more states. Okay, pretty good. That Not means bad. we probably have enough time to drive each other's cars. I'd kind of like to drive K-Swap RX-7. Most yeah. people haven't. Okay, sure. So, you can drive mine if you want. Oh, well, clutch release is kind of high. Okay. Well, it's nice and easy. Holy f that clutch. <laughs> wow, this clutch is aggressive. Wow, this clutch is aggressive. His wing is mounted a little bit lower than mine. So, you can't see much out of the back mirror. Oh man, I love the shift feel. Oh, this car's fast. Are you kidding? <laughs> this thing sounds literally like an angry monster when it comes on first. That doesn't sound like a Honda. The interior is so nice. There's nothing rattling or vibrating. Oh man, I can get used to this. How can the same car be so weirdly different? <laughs> it's very different. Oh man. I don't hate how this drives. I love how a rotary drives. It's great. It's very smooth. I've never been anti-rotary. Yeah, Ben, you've done all you've done a lot of really good good stuff to this car. It's very nice. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I don't know. There are things that I like about this, maybe even more than my car. It's definitely still got some kinks that need to get ironed out. When it's finished, it will definitely be, from a objective standpoint, superior to my car. Faster, better gas mileage, and even more tactically rewarding in certain regards. Good car, Ben. So funny how different a car can be with just an engine and transmission. I, dude, specifically the transmission. I, yeah. I thought that that might be the case, but the thing I like the most about your car Let's by far is your S2000 trans. Yeah. Like you can't change the fact that that transmission is way better dude, than that ancient five speed. I had no idea you were dealing with such a stiff clutch. Like. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, you get used to it. You get used to it. You, but, yeah. No, yeah. honestly, after like five or so times yeah. like, from a stop, I got used to it. But like the first time I hit it, I was like, whoa, yeah, he wasn't kidding. That no. clutch is stiff. Yeah. And this one, by contrast, I thought I, I was like, am I in gear? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I, I kind of thought of something, which is the engine, like when I was driving this car, I just kept doing pulls, like, cause it was, you know, pretty fun, yeah. but I just kept doing them. And I realized it's not my car, but I just knew I didn't have to have as much mechanical sympathy. Two fun cars to drive 48 states with. I, yeah. I would have no complaints driving that 48 states. And I, ha I don't have any. <laughs> if it runs, it's great. <laughs> yeah. With a newfound respect for each other's cars, we get back on the road. With only five states left, we decided to keep pushing and drive late into the night. We've driven through 43 states as we drive into South Carolina. All that remains are the states that surround our home state of Virginia. We are no longer interested in tourist attractions, wildlife, or scenery. We're on a mission, a mission that we're so close to completing. Kentucky is our penultimate state, our 47th state. That only leaves one state left, West Virginia. This might be our last fill up. We're about two hours away from our last state, West Virginia. Very close. This is the last time I'll be filling up on premix and checking the oil in the rotary on this trip. We've 
done it. We've driven our two Mazda FD RX-7s to all 48 continental states. We did it. We actually did it. Both of those cars have been to every state in the continental US. Yeah. 48 states. 48 states, West, buddy. West Virginia for last. The, the, <laughs> the crown jewel. Yeah. No offense. The pinnacle of the this, United States. Yeah, this is the US encapsulated. <laughs> Over 8,000 miles. So yours got a couple hundred more miles than mine. You had some towing miles on yeah, the rollback. back. Yeah. <laughs> mine didn't drive all of those miles. But, but it drove into every state. That's what it did. Counts, right? Yeah. Pretty impressive stuff. <sighs> That's crazy. I never thought I would own an FDRX7. I never thought I'd put a Turbo K20 in one, and I certainly never thought that I would take it to all 48 continental states. As our fourth road trip is completed, I'm reminded why we do it. It's obviously not about the destination of the trip, and it's honestly not even just about what you see along the way. It's about accomplishing something that you never thought you would do. It's about getting out there and striving for something. The journey along the way might be fun in the moment, but it's the memories and accomplishments that will last for a lifetime. Now Nevada is a state I can get behind. Well, at least KSK wins his races. I mean, me mom's car. Vroom, vroom. This trip has literally been the culmination of years of dreaming and planning for us at Gears and Gasoline. From our very first road trip we pitched to Advance Auto, we always wanted to take a pair of FDs on some insane journey. Like we said at the beginning of this trip, everything we tried up to this point had proven almost too easy. We needed to up the ante. And as you've seen over the course of this series, we finally met our match with these two Mazdas. But even with all the mechanical failures, hang-ups, and near heartbreak, here we are, over 8,000 miles and 48 states later. Some, some people on Instagram have been telling me about this stuff. It's like purple shampoo. It's supposed to help make sure that it doesn't like bronze out or something like that. I don't know, it's really weird stuff. Uh, so there's this. Um, yeah, okay, and then I also got you some conditioner. Uh, <laughs> I don't actually know exactly what this stuff does, but it should help um, keep 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 that look. Um, just gonna leave it. Yeah, rub it in, buddy. Put it in your pasture. You're someday. hilarious. Okay. Oh, here. Well, that looks like two big things we've seen so far. Yeah. Look at the car, like you're like in case you're waiting for me to get done. Ready? Moses came off Mount Sinai holding him a rotary. He had irons in each hand. <laughs> and between his teeth he carried an eccentric shaft. But upon seeing the Israelites and their idolatry worshiping the craven piston engine, he did his throw down the irons and the eccentric shaft. And they were thrown out of tolerance. And the Lord did us condemn the Hebrew people to wander in the desert for 40 years and 40 nights whilst he rebuilt the rotary engine because I'll be a son of a bitch if it don't take a long time to get parts for those Uh, well? Alright, um, I just hit 10,000 steps, so that's pretty neat. Nice tumbleweed, Luke. Oh shit! <laughs> They're so large. Yeah. Oh my step. Yeah, 
Yeah, both of the cars last road trip got uh, pretty salty. Yeah, I, I think ours are dirty enough that it's a... It's a... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're out here with the Ferraris. Uh, this is our 43rd state, basically. Somewhere around there, 38 something. I don't know. Uh, we got the red Ferrari, the yellow Ferrari. Uh, and yeah, we're just driving across the country. Coolants, blood. Oil, changed. Road trip, uh, ready to go. Crisis, averted. Hotel, Trivago. I'm more interested in this one. This is the National Youth Administration work project. Why would you have the youth build something so... Can we say phallic? <laughs> what, what else are you gonna have them do? Waste <laughs> money on cars? Besides build large phallic statues? <laughs> well, Ben, five more states. Stretch it out, Ben. Yeah, stretch it out. Nobody sees these around here. I, everybody said that in like every state we went to. Oh, oh yeah. those are the, we don't see those around here. You don't really see them anywhere. No, honestly. you don't, because yeah. they're usually not running. It, mm. <laughs> mm? How much gas do you think we used on the whole trip? Yeah, let's not think about that. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's some boca right there. Now that's a shot of some boca, that's baby! Boca. Yes, sir! Boca, baby! Woo! Look at all this swirly boca. It's all so big and bubbly. Also, if you notice... Boca! 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 Hey! 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 Boca! Well, congratulations, Ben. It's a nice build. Yeah. It made, you know, like my car, yeah, should make it. Your car, basically, you guys made. I think both cars shouldn't have make it. Made you made it. a big S2000 and I'm proud of you, buddy. <laughs>